New, 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 new. Okay, so first up, um, we have more of these handy dandy. These are uh, round plug uh, panel mount adapters. So these, you know, we've had these in a bunch of different sizes and shapes and configurations. We now have a couple more in USB-C. So we have two USB-C ones, and one is kind of designed for host, and one is designed for uh, peripherals. So I'll show both at the same time, because it's a little confusing. They look very similar. So on the outside, um, the outside, they both have USB-C. And remember, USB-C is, is kind of interesting because it can be used for both host and peripheral, like either either way. But on the opposite side of these plug adapters, one has micro B. So this one is best for um, if you're connecting this to a device that's a USB host, and then this would be connected to the peripheral. And then we have one that has a USB-A socket. So that's for the opposite. That's when the device it, on the inside of the box is going to be a peripheral and this is going to be the host. So, you know, different needs for different needs, I guess. And um, what I like about these is that you just uh, have to drill a round hole. There's no weird shape. So, um, you know, if you have a, a wooden box, you can use mm -hmm. um, uh, a hole saw. Or, you know, if you have metal, usually it's easier to drill a hole and then maybe uh, file it out. And uh, then you just have this really nice panel mount and this lip here covers up any mistakes. So even if it's not perfectly round, uh, this lip will give you a nice uh, bevel. And uh, these are really work quite well. People like them. And then you just plug in any cable you like onto this end. So we just, all it is is the adapter that's panel mount. And then you, if you need a six inch long cable, a 12 inch, one meter, whatever it is, you plug it into here and you're golden. We also have uh, other USB-C ones, but these are the ones that take it to micro B or A. All right. Two plug adapters. Next up, 300 micro bits. 300 wow. micro bits. <laughs> so we have a couple boxes of these um, micro bit yeah. bulk packs. Mm -hmm. These are perfect for. It's this time 300. Though. Is this? Just time, to be clear, I do not actually like, have 300 here. It's like 1400 dollars. So just it's, know, be, it's, be aware. It's a little more. Yeah, it's it's pretty expensive. Um, but they're only 14 dollars and 25 cents a piece. So it's a really good yeah. deal if you save a couple bucks a piece. This is what you get for each one. It's um, the instructions, the safety guide, in a uh, anti-stat uh, cardboard bag that's uh, recyclable and tied closed. You don't get USB cable, you don't get batteries, but it's very low cost if you can supply uh, the USB cable or batteries. This is perfect for workshops or mm -hmm. schools. Um, they're, it's way cheaper and you get them ready to distribute. Yeah, you get them at $14.25 each, but just keep in mind, you get 300 of them. Yes, there's a lot. <laughs> yeah, so like, you know that fifth grade class of 300 kids? There you go, you know, that's, that's, that's what it is. Yeah, so it's, it's perfect for those situations. And yeah, again, you save a couple bucks per person. So um, if you were gonna get 250, it's probably cheaper to get 300 yeah. in the pack. 300. Okay, what's this? This is a, a new fab product. This is the Pi RTC DS3231. So we've had an RTC for the Raspberry Pi. The Raspberry Pi does not have a real-time clock built in. So once you cut power, it loses the time. And there might be situations where you want, you know, even if it loses power and it doesn't have Wi-Fi, it'll keep the time um, as a battery backup. They didn't include an RTC, which comes with your laptop and computer because they want to save money because it's $35. Um, so you, you can plug this on, and this version comes with the DS3231. And this is a genuine Maxim high precision real-time clock. These are temperature compensated. They lose like less than a couple seconds a year or something ridiculous. Um, we, the other one we have, you know, you have plus or minus a second a day or something, um, but these are much more precise. Um, they're famous for their high accuracy. So if you want to say have uh, an NTP server or something, or you need something that's very timing sensitive, you can't have the time drift uh, because of your data logging needs, your timing needs. This is the best RTC. It's more expensive because of the temperature compensation. Um, but we also get genuine Maxim parts. I will say, a lot of people say, why are the DS3231s you sell so expensive? I can get them for three bucks on this other site. Those are not real DS3231s. They're um, knockoff counterfeits, and they don't have that precision, but you wouldn't know because if you didn't have a precision thing to compare it against, mm -hmm. how do you know if your yeah. precision thing Literally. isn't precise? It's like you have to, you can't measure a ruler against another ruler unless one of them is, you know, if they're both faulty, you're never gonna know that your ruler's off. So it's the same issue. So these are, we buy them direct from Maxim, so we know that they're absolutely 100% genuine DS3231s, which, you know, you'll find out in six months when, when your timing doesn't drift that you got the right thing. 
Okay, and the star of the show tonight, besides Naomi, Lady Ada, the Python community, or Adafruit community, is the Pi 4. <laughs> we have Raspberry Pi 4. Well, we had a couple. Um, we're getting more. Uh, the first batch we had, we had just a couple dozen, two gigabyte um, Raspberry Pi 4s. These are available in three versions. There's uh, one gig, two gig, and four gig. They have a new processor, which is running at 1.5 gigahertz quad core um, ARM Cortex chip. Uh, it still has uh, Ethernet jack, but now it's gigabit Ethernet. It still has four USB ports, but now two of them are USB 3. So that's great if you want to connect a, an external hard drive. You'll get that high speed connect to those uh, USB 3 ports um, for external storage. It has two HDMI ports now. And to fit them into the uh, PCB, which has the same shape, is uh, they're now micro HDMI. So you can see in the All center right. there, two micro HDMI connectors. Both can do uh, 4K at 60 hertz HDMI. Still have the standard audio output with uh, NTSC and the PWM audio. Um, if you want high quality audio, check out our I2S DAC editions. And then uh, the other update is um, you may want as high as three amps for this board, especially if you add um, external displays or hard drives or devices. So they upped the um, power requirement, the maximum power requirements, uh, and now the port is a USB-C port because uh, the micro B does kind of tap out at 2.5 amps. It's, the USB um, micro Bs only have one conductor pair for power and ground, whereas the USB-Cs have four. So, you know, you basically have that many more cable, like, that many more wires, less resistance drop, you can uh, supply a lot more current. Also, everything's kind of moving to USB-C, and there's an official Raspberry Pi power supply we'll be carrying uh, that will provide you that three amps. Um, for now, you can uh, use an adapter, or if you have a USB-C power supply kicking around, um, that's good. Other things that have changed, um, you may really want to have a heat sink or a fan. It does run a little hotter, it'll throttle. Uh, the things that are the same, it has the same display and um, camera connector. The 40-pin GPIO is the same. It has Wi-Fi, but it now does dual 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. It still has Bluetooth, the Bluetooth Low Energy, ditto. Uh, and you can also use, um, you can see like there's two antennas now, not just one. And um, you can do power over Ethernet with the power over Ethernet shield using those little four connectors. Uh, so this, this can do you know gigabit plus power. Uh, so it's, it's becoming really a PC. Like you can run it as a computer. These are very powerful. It's like two to three times faster than yeah, the Pi 3B Plus, which was a big improvement. So it's probably like now 20 to 25 times faster than the Pi 1. So, uh, you know, everything got a big upgrade. This is a huge uh, resweep. And I like that they did not wait till February. Uh, they dropped this now, <laughs> uh, just in time for everybody to uh, play with over the summer. So sign up. Uh, we promise as soon as we get them in, we will notify you. Um, the U.S. gets them sort of last because they have to go through this FCC certification process thing. So we get them, you know, a couple of days to a week later than everybody else. But as soon as we get them, we'll notify them. Uh, they come at $35, $45, and $55, depending on how much RAM you want. All right. And that's new products. And that's new products. So new, 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 new.